I love adventure riding, but I, I don't like camping. I don't like sleeping in a tent. And I've boiled it down to mainly two reasons. Number one, it takes a lot of time to put up camp only to pack it all down again the next morning and continue with the adventure. But that is a necessary evil. I haven't been able to figure out a solution to that just yet. But the second reason why I don't like sleeping in a tent is because I never seem to sleep well. I wake up in the morning feeling completely exhausted, like I've been run over by a train during sleep. But on my recent trip to Sweden and the Skog event, I made two changes to my sleeping system that revolutionized the whole thing. I slept so much better. And that is what we're talking about in today's video. Yeah, good job. Keep body forward to prevent a wheelie. Excellent. As you probably can tell, I'm as happy as a kid in a toy store now that the riding season is upon us here in the Great North. But I am already starting to develop pre-traumatic stress disorder about how I'm going to deal with next winter. How can I survive another winter here in the North without riding my bikes? Well, there's only one solution. I'm heading back to Portugal to meet up with Diogo and Offroad, of course, for another five-day tour in the greatest country in the world for a off-road motorcyclist. If this is something you want to join in on, send me an email or write a comment in the comment section below. Now, let's hear what this maniac out in the woods got to say. Maniac? Who are you calling maniac? I'm not the one with the silly hat. Silly? So the first thing that I changed in my sleeping system, and this goes in the obvious drawer, but I went for a thicker sleeping pad. It's easy as an adventure rider when you pack everything on your bike to think that the smaller and lighter, the better. When it comes to a sleeping pad, it is one of those things that you just have to allow yourself for a bigger pack on your bike. So a thicker sleeping pad made for a much better sleep because I was able to sleep on my side without my hip and shoulder touching the ground. I didn't get any cold spots. I didn't get, yeah, sore hips and shoulders. A thicker sleeping pad made a big difference. But this next one, that is kind of the, the big thing here. When it comes to sleeping in a tent or camping in general, I think at least 99 out of 100 people would automatically think about the traditional sleeping bag. But I never liked them at all. They are restrictive, the confined space, like a cocoon hindering you moving around during sleep. And I'm a restless sleeper. I move around in a constant search for a better position. So I wanted to try something different. I've tried a mommy sleeping bag, a box squared one, a big one, large one, you name it. Never managed to sleep well. Turning around inside the bag, you get the hood in your face and no bueno at all. So what I did on this trip to Sweden, this Skog event, I brought something a bit unusual. I brought my duvet from home. Yes, the wife wasn't happy when I brought home our duvet full of dust, grime, sweat and dirt, but I slept like a baby. So what is it about the duvet that made me sleep so much better? Yes, it reminded me of my comfortable bed at home, but that wasn't it. It's obviously the shape of the duvet. It's not restrictive like a sleeping bag. You can move around during sleep in search for that perfect spot without feeling strangled almost. But a traditional duvet is not made to be used in a tent or a camping situation. Don't get me wrong, it worked perfectly well, but it has a cotton exterior. So when things get moist or damp, that takes a long time to dry. It packs huge, it weighs a lot. So the next thing on my list of things to purchase to improve my approach to adventure riding is a down quilt that has a polyester or nylon exterior that is much better when things get damp or, or moist like they do up here in the north, but also that packs smaller and weighs less. I'm not listening to that rude man. I will wear my hat if I want to. All right, so this is the duvet that I used at school. This is a typical winter duvet with lots of down. And this one is my summer duvet. Packs much smaller 
and is not as hot. I've been told that Spain is supposed to be hot during summer, so I should probably be prepared. All right, so for your next camping trip, try to bring your duvet from home. Leave that restrictive cocoon of yours and try a blanket or duvet. I will, as always, report back from this Spain trip if a duvet worked as well as it did at Skog. If it does, I will buy a lightweight down quilt, even though they will cost me a kidney. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you the next time. Um, Mamma mia, I can't wait for that. <laughs>